Welcome to the Crafting Ant. Today we are talking about the Lasius niger, or black garden ant. This species of ants is very easy to maintain and allows for some mistakes. They are known for their adaptability and endurance. At first the ants are very gentle, but later generations of workers can be a bit aggressive. But the species doesn't have a stinger and are also small, so their mandibles cannot hurt us. Lasius niger is mostly a European ant, but some colonies have been found in Asia and North America. They build their nest underground, rocks, pavement, but also in rotting wood. The queen has a black glossy color and some slight brown stripes on her abdomen. Her size is around 6 to 9 millimeters. The workers are glossy black and will grow from 3 up to 5 millimeters. This species does not have majors. The colony is monogyne, which means that they only have one queen. After the nuptial flight, there can be more than one queen in the nest. But when the first workers arrive, called ninidics, the queen will fight until there is one left. The colonies normally range from 4 to 10,000 workers, but there are records of 40,000 workers. The queen can live up to 20 years. The longest recorded one is a whopping 29 years. The lifespan for nanitics is around 4 to 6 months. Later generations can live up to a year. This species is widely available in shops around the world. Because of its endurance, they are easy to ship. Of course, you can get them from the wild. It is possible to dig them up, but it is easier to wait for their nuptial flight. These occur in the summer around July or August. A nuptial flight is when the colonies release their flying males and females. They mate in the air. The males die after the deed and the females find a spot to nest. They mostly lose their wings. Lasius niger is a claustral species. This means that the queen does not need any food until the first nanetic hatch. She will use muscle stores of her wings to feed her spawn. The nanetic's job is to get the colony going by caring for the food and the brood. It takes about 40 to 60 days for them to grow from an egg to a worker. This depends on the circumstances of the nest, like temperature, humidity and access to food. The best temperature for the brood is between 23 and 25 degrees, but they are very resilient and will also thrive at other temperatures. For humidity, they like it between 10 and 50% but as long as it is not too dry, they will do just fine. For food, Lasius niger loves their sugar. So fruits, honey, jellies. But next to that, they also need protein. This can be any small insect, but the insect should be pre-killed. The species are more gatherers than hunters. They can stand their ground pretty good, but it's just not worth the risk. Lasius niger are also able to have mutualistic relationships. The ants will protect insects like aphids. And the aphids will reward them with honeydew, which they really like to consume. The species thrives better with a diapause, or hibernation. This period is normally from the end of October to March. In this period, the queen will not lay any eggs and the whole colony will take a break. The best temperature is somewhere between 5 and 10 degrees. So in a refrigerator, crawl space or basement is good. Lasius niger likes natural sand setups, but this is not the best option for all ant keepers, especially starters. Luckily, they are perfectly happy in white tongue, acrylic or 3D printed. And I bet it's not their favorite 
but they will also house a cork or wood. Since Lasius niger is so resilient, it's the perfect species to start with. It doesn't matter if the temperature or humidity is not at its best, they will thrive. Also the nest type does not matter, and it gives you all the options to choose from. Their wide availability also helps. Last but not least, they don't mind light. You can keep the nest open and look at them all day. I hope you have enjoyed this video and maybe help you to decide to start your own colony. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time at the crafting end.